Tonight to wrap things up from the 2015 Puerto Rico tip-off, and we begin at the end. The champions, the Miami Hurricanes, laid waste to a very talented and deep field, an 18 field that showed up here. But the truth is that from the jump, the Hurricanes were the best in all of the games. And this is how it shaked out. Temple and Butler in the semifinals. Butler got past them. Miami beat Utah by 24 in the semifinals. So that meant the Hurricanes would have to beat two top 25 teams back to back to take home the title. And that is exactly what they did. 85-75 the final. Butler loses to Miami. Welcome back inside Roberto Clemente Coliseum alongside LaFonso Ellis. I'm Rich Hollenberg. Everyone's gone except for us, but this was a raucous crowd for the most mm -hmm. part. A lot of people from Butler here. A lot of people from Miami certainly showed up. A terrific venue as always. You can't ask for better surroundings, and in this case, you couldn't ask for better basketball from the Canes. I mean, you're talking about two top 25 teams here on the island and a team that should have been top 25 that proved that tonight Miami was absolutely outstanding their length and athleticism got into Butler early they needed a big response Butler Kellen Dunham only had three points in the first half but he caught fire in the second half 20 second half points to lead the charge to get his team an opportunity to win but it turned out that this Miami team really started to flex their grit Getting in the lane, got tremendous bench production. Tongue Agent Kiri continued to be an absolute animal in the middle of the lane, both on offense and defense. And in the end, it's the young Puerto Rican native and Angel Rodriguez who really sealed the deal with some deep three balls, some depth passing, and how about a most outstanding player of the as well. It was an emotional ending to a terrific week of basketball. Here's a look at your Puerto Rico tip-off all-tournament team. McClellan and Jakiri, Tony, Tony Jakiri had back-to-back double-doubles. Angel Rodriguez, as you just mentioned, Fonz, the MOP. Rosie Jones, a deserving member of this team. And we saw Jakob Pertl in the consolation third place game. Yes. Light it up, he had a career high in that effort. So a terrific tournament, uh, terrific players as well. And the final team results, Miami, the only team going back to the States with a perfect 3-0 mark. And we would imagine that they would have a top 25, if not better, ranking because of this result. Absolutely. They were so good, Rich. I mean, you're talking about a team that's deep at every position. They go to their bench. There's no drop off. And as we said before, how many teams in the country can go to five guys on their bench and get zero drop off? Kamari Murphy now back in the lineup gives them additional depth. This is a team, I think, that's the number one team in the ACC. And they put the ACC on notice with their play this weekend. Forget about us complimenting the Hurricanes. Chris Holtman, the head coach for Butler, who faced this team in the final set, they're not a top 25 team. They're a top 15 team, and they proved that tonight. It's the Hurricanes taking the title in San Juan. Appreciate everybody tuning in. It was paradise outside. It was beautiful basketball inside. For everybody here at our ESPN family, including my broadcast partner, Lafonso Ellis, I'm Rich Hollenberg. Congratulations to the Miami Hurricanes 2015 Puerto Rico tip-off champion. So long. Adios from San Juan.